countryside would you take me home when my heart fills with joy Remember that summer in 96 When we were drinking all that bourbon shit Watching the sun go down While we were dancing around the bonfire Hello everyone, this is Inspired 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Aquarius, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 31st of October until the 6th of November 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the King of Swords. There was a male significant figure in your life, most likely from air signs, who has the courage and intellect to accomplish all that he desires. You need to adopt a very stern but fair role. You have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time, this detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, Make firm and well-researched decisions, and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. Oftentimes, the King of Swords represents a professional advisor, such as a solicitor or attorney, financial advisor or taxation consultant. This advisor has a solid reputation and a vast amount of knowledge in his particular field, and will provide you with objective, well-researched advice about your own situation. He is completely impartial, and will draw upon his experience and his innate knowledge of the rules, systems and structures that are in place. He may come across as detached or disinterested in your personal circumstances unless it relates specifically to the type of advice he is giving you. This is so that he can provide only the most relevant and objective advice to you. He prides himself in his expertise and qualifications, and is likely to charge a high fee for his services. Nonetheless, he offers the rigor and specialist knowledge that you need right now. This king is also a man of the highest ethical standards. It is impossible to corrupt him and as such he acts as a pillar of strength who gives sound advice to everyone, no matter who they are. What is more, 
he firmly expects others to operate by the rules of the law and will not tolerate others who break the law. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the page of wands. You are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. Similarly, the Page of Wands indicates that you need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger all ooze interest, you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today, and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation, the third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Queen of Swords. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the air sign who is stern and composed, and without much feeling. If you are single, she might be someone that you re looking forward to be your partner. On the other hand, this card also represents the intellect's ability to judge and discern impartially, without the influence of emotion or sentimentality. She likes to know the how, what, why, where, when and who of everything to help her make sense of her environment and to better understand others. It is not that she does not care about others but she connects to other people through an intellectual understanding rather than an emotional understanding. The Queen of Swords is a sign that you need to be independent in thought and in judgment. You must use your unbiased intelligence in order to make a judgment of a particular situation, drawing upon every piece of information and fact that you have gathered along the way. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you from the task at hand, so it is important that you think with your head and not with your heart at this particular time. Do not let emotion get in the way. Rather, use fact and logic to make your decisions. The Queen of Swords also has an innate ability to tell it like it is. She is a quick thinker and highly perceptive, and as such, she can cut through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is certainly no beating about the bush, or softening of her comments, opinions and thoughts. She is upfront and honest about her opinions, and expects the same from others. The best way to interact with the Queen of Swords, therefore, is to remain as impartial as possible, and to present your thoughts and opinions concisely and honestly. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Answered Prayer. 
Fear not, beloved one. Your prayers have been heard and answered. All of your prayers are always answered. Sometimes you may not feel this way, because the answer comes in unexpected ways. Perhaps you receive an intuitive feeling or a new opportunity appears or a book falls off the shelf. The angels answer our prayers very often by giving us ideas or information in these everyday ways. By drawing this card, the angels request that you be extra observant. Notice everything that you hear, say, think, and feel. Be especially alert to help that comes to you, and be sure to accept that help. You do deserve this assistance, and many times God enlists people to act as earth angels who bring you answers to your prayers. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.